All right, folks, we done got it set up. We're not gonna be doing a lot of talking today. We're gonna be milling up this uh, sugar maple uh, for a friend of ours. Over there, you see my partner, otherwise known as the Ramrod. Some people call him my son, but he pushes me like a white mouth mule all the time, so keeping me young. Plate's all set up for the big Alaskan meal. Running a big 3120 from Husqvarna on a big Alaskan meal uh, that we bought from Granberg. This is sugar maple here. We're gonna be cutting today, not a lot of talking. We're just gonna get right down to it. If anybody's interested in how we set up for Alaskan milling, uh, we can do a video on that at another time. Today, it's gonna be a lot of sawing, a little bit of talking. Let's get at it.
look at that. That's beautiful. Gonna make somebody a pretty table. That's nice. Good figure in there. Good opportunity for some uh, epoxy resin right there. That'll be nice. What do y'all think about that? Look at that grain right there now. Got a little inclusion in case you want to do a river table. Some good contrast up here. That's going to be a nice desk. Y'all better, better get ready with your wallets. Well, there's the slabs we got from Saturday. First one. Not a bad looking little piece of wood. Let's see what we measure. Overall, you got about 93. Probably in the wide spot. Uh, just about 21. This piece right here is 30 by 96. But man, look at that red in that board right there. If I was a table maker, that might uh, that might excite me. Any of you table makers out there, I'd love to hear what you would do with this piece. It uh, had a wing break off right there. And uh, got some interesting rot that could probably be stabilized on this end. I'd love to hear what people could do with that. There's another piece we got. Interesting little hole. And when we cut that, that was together but it's since broke off in the transit so i don't know if uh, maybe a real crafty table maker could bow tie that back together or stabilize it with epoxy but um not really sure what i'm gonna do with that sell those separate sell them together how we're gonna do that but all these are about two and three quarter inches thick and this one's uh about 30 inches wide at the widest minus that wing right there nice pick of wood really cool piece right here this one's 37 wide by about 96 long uh, got some real cool uh figure in it some compression figures some bark inclusion it's really got about everything uh, interesting thing about this piece is it's about five and three quarters inch thick we cut it that way because of the uh undulation in the wood you can see back here it's a lot thinner i don't know how that would uh, affect the table maker as i am not one but uh that's a really cool piece of wood i could i could cut that down for the right customer but uh who knows I may end up doing something with it myself and then of course we got these two small pieces they're about four feet long two of those four feet long and about uh 14 inches and uh the ever present mauser trying to make sure he stays uh, popular with the youtube crowd and that's flat on the other side but i just cut it off because uh it was part of the it was part of the tree that we had to give to us and uh customer wanted out of their yard so i may turn that into firewood i don't know well, thanks everybody for sticking around. If you made it to the end of the video, that's the that's the haul for that one uh, for that one half day's work that we had to give with the big Alaskan mill. Uh, currently getting the 3120 uh, serviced, it's a brand new saw, and I just want to make sure before I put it back in a long cut that uh, everything's good. Until we see you again, y'all stay safe. <laughs>